Hello, there is Fimposable Creations and welcome in the last part of the beginner introduction tutorial series. In this part I will explain how you can add doorways for rooms and handle field setup commands. You don't need to have the same asset as I, you can use any other modular architecture package. Let's begin! First, let's prepare Grid Painter to work with it in this tutorial. Let's clear scene, add object with Grid Painter component, assign our field setup from previous tutorial, and let's paint some initial cells to work with. Now let's synchronize Field Designer window with Grid Painter, so we can easily preview design on more customized grid. If we select object with Grid Painter on scene, then in Field Designer window, Apply changes to Grid Painter toggle will appear. Now doing changes in Field Setup will trigger Grid Painter Generate. Let's clear the objects which were automatically generated. OK. And let's paint doorway command simply by enabling scene painting and selecting door hole command in scene view GUI. And there it is. Now click on a cell command sphere and adjust its rotation to point towards target wall. But nothing happens when we hit generate. That's because these commands are default example commands, which you need to implement just for your field setup. There you see that by default it's preventing to spawn object with props tag. And it also have own field modificator, which is called on a painted cell. I recommend to hit in button to duplicate the modificator and keep it inside this field setup. Then we can adjust spawner to generate your own doorway in a correct way. And we will focus on it in a while, now let's quickly just prevent spawning torches and barrels in a door hole way. Apply props tag to all spawners in our props field modificator. Now this cell with painted door hole command will not allow to spawn these objects. Finally, let's prepare our doorway generator. We will use here doorway placer node which is basically offsetting model, position and rotation, and removing wall to replace full wall with one with a hole in it. Let's find doorway prefab in this asset pack and apply it to the spawner. In doorway placer we have here zero offset values, so it's generated just inside cell. It's rotated in the wrong way, so let's fix it with 180 degrees. OK, now let's offset it to the cell center. And finally, push it towards a wall. And there you see full wall is being removed, because wall placer is now removing first detected spawn in distance smaller than 0.1. And it's very important to use tags here, since it could remove some wall prop instead of wall and you can get wrong results like concreted doorway. So let's ensure it will remove only wall spawns. Another very important thing is distance measure mode. In some rare cases, when you use models with pivot points in corners instead of center, Distance measurement can go wrong and sometimes it can select wrong walls to be removed. To solve it, you can switch distance measure mode here to renderer center. Now it will compare distance between model center instead of their pivot positions. And using this measure mode, you need to increase the remove distance value to make the remove distance tolerance better. And one more tip, you can enable debugging, then enable debugging in Grid Painter inspector window, and now you can preview what is being computed and adjust values. And here you go. Now let's work with clear wall command. We will do it in a very similar way, like with a doorway, but we will not use any model. 
we will use empty object, offset it to be near to the wall and remove the wall spawn. And again there is example command, so we need to customize it. Hit N to keep it in our field setup, right mouse button for quick rename and let's select it. Ok, nothing happens when we generate, so let's fix it. On the scene you will see green wireframe sphere gizmo, which indicates empty spawn object position. Let's move it to match it with center of wall model. Let's switch measure mode to use renderer center to find nearest object in range. And there you see it remote barrel instead of wall, because we not applied wall tag yet. And when we write the wall tag and increase the remove distance value, it works properly. Alright, now if you would like to generate procedurally dungeon with multiple rooms, you would need to use field planner. And just to show you what field planner is doing, it's generating multiple grid painters, define grid shapes and add Excel comments like we do here. And it does it procedurally in the way you provide it in field planner graphs. The field planner is currently being developed and please check our tutorials to learn about it. Now, you can use cell comments for multiple purposes. You can add string value to the cell and use it in modificators to trigger different generating actions. Like here, preventing spawning floor using cell data string. With some more effort and more models, you can create setup to paint generate complex floor holes, like here. And if you want to spawn some individual objects in a certain placement, like player start marker or anything else, you can create command called field modificator, set it up. Paint it on a grid, add spawner, and there you go. You can execute here multiple spawners and any logics. You have many possibilities here. And well, that's all for this tutorial series. I hope it was helpful and properly explained for you. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment sections below. Leave a like, subscribe for more, hit notification bell to make sure you don't miss any new video from me. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.